why we do balance. Uh, the main one, number one, would be proprioception. So get a feeling of where we are in space. So whether we're in stillness or whether we're moving, that we're kind of aware of where our body's at, that we notice little imbalances, that we notice little niggles, we notice where our body is moving in its natural range if it's restricted on one side. So it's really good to do our balance poses so that we can kind of see the difference between left to right, front to back, um, and be aware of that as we move. So a lot of the practice this morning is going to be a standing sequence, uh, balance sequencing, and why we do the standing and the movement and the sequencing. Balance is great and we can practice it in a static pose, like something like tree pose, which hopefully we will get to. But actually it's more important when we're moving. So when you think of every day, we're, we're moving, we're generally not just standing still. So if we can practice our balance as we're moving from pose to pose, so into our transition, it's a lot more effective. And it allows us to engage with those little intrinsic muscles. So we're quite aware of, say, our bigger muscles, like our quad, and maybe our upper traps, um, you know, the very obvious muscles within our body as we move, but we're less aware of those little intrinsic muscles. So things like our, our deep ankle stabilizers, or our deep hip flexors, um, and parts of our glutes, our deeper glutes. So that's what we actually activate when we're working in our balance poses, which allows us a lot more stability, both on the mat, but also in life. So we're just a little bit stronger in ourselves. Our posture, our body awareness is a little bit stronger. The third thing we're going to look at is focus. So focus will be brought by um, our gaze, so our drishti point in yoga. So when we're in our balance poses, by fixing our gaze on a solid object, it's a lot easier to hold that focus. And by changing the gaze where it's at, so maybe it's to the floor, it might feel like an easy pose. We lift the gaze to the ceiling and suddenly we're off balance and we're really having to challenge all those little muscles. So we'll be exploring that and then breath, of course, is the last thing. So anytime you start to feel you're shaking out of a pose, just come back to that breath awareness and try to connect that with the pose. Um, so I'm not going to talk anymore. I could talk all morning on the subject, to be honest. Um, we're going to sit back in the heels this morning to start with. Again, if you need to take a towel underneath the knees as a little extra padding or underneath the knee joints if it feels a little bit cranky this morning. And we just sit back onto the feet if that feels okay. And then we're going to open the palms to the ceiling, draw the shoulders toward the ears and then roll them down together. And just take a few nice shoulder rolls here. So as we inhale, lifting the chest forward and as we exhale, rolling the shoulders back. And try to sit nice and tall in the spine. It's a lot easier when we're sitting back onto our heels than when we're in our cross-legged. And then just reverse it in the other direction. So just feel that lovely movement. And again, even at this stage, notice the balance from left to right. Notice if you're getting a little bit more movement in one shoulder than the other. And then slowly relax. So we'll take three opening active breaths here. So we're going to inhale the arms out, reaching up. Interlocking fingers, exhale, pressing palms to ceiling and then gently pressing it forward, stretching through the shoulders. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, arms out, reaching up, gaze goes up. Exhale, interlocking fingers and pressing it forward. Last one, inhale, arms out, reaching up, interlocking fingers and exhale, stretching through the shoulders. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up. Interlocking fingers, we're going to press the palms toward the ceiling and as we exhale, we're going to hinge to the right, pressing that left hip to the left, allowing the arms fully extend and see if we can get the arms back in line with the ears. So we're not bringing the arms forward here. Nice openness into the armpits and into the chest, taking the gaze to that left hand. As we inhale, really consciously, actively pressing the hands away and as we exhale, see if we can hinge a little bit more to the right. Last breath here, feeling that lovely stretch along the left. And then slowly draw it back to centre. We're going to inhale, press the palms to the ceiling. And as we exhale, we're going to hinge to the left. Again, taking that gaze up to the right hand, if it feels good, pressing into that right hip. So a little bit more weight into that right hip here. Drawing those arms back by the ears as we inhale, stretching, reaching through the arms. And as we exhale, hinging just a little bit more. Last breath, nice active arms. And exhale. Slowly we're going to inhale back to centre. 
and then exhale, release the hands to the front. From here, we're going to come up high onto the knees, so checking in that the hips are over the knees here. If you need to, actually, we'll all tuck our toes under here. A little bit of space between the knees, maybe just about a fist, so they're about hip width distance apart. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up. As we exhale, we're going to reach that right arm behind us, and we can either rest it on the left heel or all the way onto, sorry, onto the right heel or all the way onto the left heel, depending on where the body's at. So just touching the fingertips down, we're pressing the hips forward, and we're going to extend that left arm back overhead. So really pressing the hips forward as much as we can, trying to keep those hips over the knees. We're going to inhale back to center, arms extended. And then exhale, rotate to the left and either rest those left fingertips on the left heel or all the way over onto the right heel, going for a little bit deeper twist here. Again, pressing the hips forward, extending back through that right arm. Inhale back to center, a little bit of flow here. Exhale, right arm back, extend the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left arm back, right arm extends. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left. Last one, back to center. Exhale, right again, all the time pressing those hips forward. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale to the left. And then inhale, back to center. And then exhale, hands to heart. Lovely. From here, staying on the knees, if you feel it's a lot of pressure, always feel free to take the towel, put it under the uh, knee that we're putting the pressure on. In this case, it's going to be the left. We're going to extend the right foot out fully, allowing the outer blade of that right foot come down onto the mat. <clears throat> we're going to rest the left fingertips onto the ground, see if we can draw it so that our hip is in line with our knee and our shoulders are in line with the arm here. And then we're going to extend that right arm up and over, really reaching through the fingertips, pressing that right hip toward the ceiling, feel that lovely strong extension along the right side of the body. From here, if it feels good, we're going to lift that right leg off the ground and see if we can get the foot up in line with the hip. So we're really trying to activate our hip abductors here into our little glute muscles. We're going to feel it on the inner thigh, really extending through that right arm for three, for two and one. From here, we're going to place the right foot behind us and we're going to reach behind us with the right arm. So feeling a really strong extension into the right side of the body. So the right foot reaches back, it's rested on the ground, right arm reaches back and we're pressing the hips forward for three, for two and one. Inhale back to center and then exhale, come all the way up. We're going to place the right hand on the hip. We're going to inhale that left arm up. And as we exhale, reach over to the right. Again, we should feel this in the inner thigh and the right side. Again, keeping that arm back in line with the ear. From here, we're going to come onto the heel of that right foot as we twist to the right and reach those left fingertips toward the foot. So chest is moving toward the foot. Hips are moving back toward the heel, and we're just reaching forward, so we don't have to touch the toe. Keep the spine nice and long for three. Little hamstring stretch here. Draw the toe toward us for two, and one. Inhale, back to center, and exhale, release. Both knees come together. We're going to do the same on the other side, so again, if you need to pad that right knee, and then we're going to extend that left foot out fully. Really pressing the outer blade of that left foot into the mat, stacking the hips here, feeling nice and strong. We're going to rest the right fingertips down and we're going to inhale left arm up and then extend it back overhead. Again, drawing that arm back in line with the ear, pressing the hips and chest forward. Again, noticing if we can stack that right hip over the knee, that shoulder over the arm. And again, you can choose to stay here, just pressing the hip towards the ceiling and the hips toward the front of the room. Or if you want to join me, we're going to lift that left foot off the ground. If you need to come down onto the flats of the hand here too, by all means do. That left foot is nice and active. So we're pressing out through the heel, trying to draw the foot up in line with the hip. And you're going to notice from one side to the other, it might be a little bit easier to get that lift. 
you might get higher than the hip if you've got a lot of movement we're going to hold it here for three for two and one place the left foot down behind us as far as we can go and then we're going to reach back through the left arm back overhead pressing the hips forward so a little bit of a back bend here getting a nice extension along the left side and into the front of the body we can take the gaze to that left hand if it feels okay in the neck hold it here for three for two and one slowly draw it back to center we're going to inhale gently up and then we're going to bring that left hand to the hip extend the right arm up toward the ceiling and then gently reach over to the left so reach that right arm overhead again gaze can go up toward the fingertips if it feels good feel that lovely stretch and extension along the right side hold it for three for two and one we're going to swivel onto that left heel as we turn the body to the left inhale here and as we exhale we're going to reach as far as we can through the right fingertips pressing back into the hips keeping the spine as long as we can chest open so again it's not about catching hold of the toe here just going in that general direction we can draw the toes toward the face hold it here for three for two and one slowly release it back to center and then exhale fully release back onto the knees from here we're going to come straight into our tabletop this morning so we're not going to spend as much time on the mat to begin but want to get nice and flowy into our balance sequence so coming to our tabletop again tabletop in itself is a balance pose so we're really grinding our hands into the mat so really spreading through the fingers i want you to imagine this morning that your hands and your feet are your roots so pressing into the finger pads and knuckles, stay nice and light in the wrists as our shoulders come in line with our elbows and wrists, elbow creases forward. Knees about hip width distance apart, we can tuck the toes under if they feel cranky, otherwise flatten it out. And we go through a few rounds of our cat cow curls. So inhale, press the chest forward, gaze up toward the ceiling, arching strongly through the spine. Exhale, pressing into the ground, curling through the spine, gaze back toward the belly. Inhale, gaze goes forward and up, arching. Exhale, curling through, releasing through those shoulder blades. Inhale, gaze forward and up, keeping the elbows nicely, softly bent. Exhale, pressing through, really tucking the chin in, feeling that stretch into the neck. Continuing with your own breath, maybe closing out the eyes here. So we're thinking of our hands and our feet as our roots. And then our trunk of the body as our actual trunk of the tree. So when you think our roots need stability, a little bit of movement, but a lot of stability. So we're going to be trying to engage in those stabilizers. And then with the trunk of the tree, it needs to be stable, but it also requires a lot of movement. So when those forces are applied to it, that it sways with it rather than resists it. And that's why we work into even just these little mobilizers in the spine which will help us with our balance as we get to those stronger poses. Really stretching between the shoulder blades. And again, as I said before, you really can't do enough of this lovely little pose. Slowly, we're going to come back to center. Finding our neutral spine here. So notice if the belly is dropping or if the back is too arched. So we're looking for that nice little part in between, feeling the core engage. Left hand comes slightly toward the center, but off center. We're going to extend the right arm out and then we're going to lift the left knee off the ground and extend back through that left foot. Pressing out through the left heel. Check in that that left wrist is still underneath the left shoulder. Notice that the belly is dropping, so again we're engaging with those abdominals, we're pressing the belly button into the back of the spine, and then we're engaging that left glute to get that leg to lift. Hold it here, extending through that right arm. Relax the gaze, relax the neck for three, for two, and one. We're going to inhale center. As we exhale, we're going to reach the right arm all the way out to the right and reach the left foot all the way out to the left as far as we can go. Try to keep the foot nice and high in line with the hip. 
try to keep the hand in line with the shoulder. We're going to hold it here for three, for two, and one. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release it out. Inhale, back to center. Exhale it out. Inhale, back to center. This time, I want you to reach the right arm over the body to the left and the left leg back to the right. So we're getting a little bit of a release into the hip here. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, all the way over to the right. Inhale, back to center and reach to the opposite side. Exhale it out. Really challenging those glutes. Inhale, back to center and reach out to the side. Last one. Exhale it out. And then inhale, back to center. We're gonna release both hands to the mat, coming onto the ball of that left foot, and then just pressing into the ball of the foot, pressing back through the heel, left foot here. And just get a nice little stretch in behind the leg here. From here, we're going to swivel on that right knee, keeping the right hand grounded, and we're going to come into our side plank like we did in the first little bit. Flat onto the hand here. Again, try to keep the hip in line with the knee. We're going to inhale, left arm up, and then we're going to extend it overhead. A little bit of glute activation with our balance here. We're going to inhale, draw the right elbow to touch the left knee in. Exhale, extend it out, hovering the foot off the ground if we can. Inhale, elbow to knee, drawing it in. Exhale, extend. Inhale it in. So they don't have to touch, you're just moving in that direction if they touch, it's bonus. Exhale it out. Three more, inhale it in. Exhale, extend. Two more, work with the breath. You can follow the gaze to that left hand. Again, just finding that point of focus. Last one. And then rest the foot down. We're going to bring that left hand back to the mat, swivel back on the knee, and come back into our tabletop. So again, if you need to shake that left arm out, and again, keep checking in that that shoulder is over the wrist so that we're not dumping into that wrist. We shouldn't feel it so much. When you're ready, keeping that right hand grounded, slightly off center, but to the right. Extend the left arm out. We're going to lift back through that right leg, pressing back through the right heel. So again, we're trying to keep a long spine here. So notice where you start to get little S curves. So we're going to tuck the hips under. We're going to engage those abdominals. We're going to lift that back leg, really press the way through the fingers. And again, neck is relaxed. So it's just another extension of your spine here. Pressing back through that right heel for three, for two, and one. Inhale, center. As we exhale, we're going to draw that left arm out to the left, right foot out to the right. Again, trying to keep the foot high, trying to keep the hand high. For three, for two, and one. Inhale, back to center. Exhale it out to the side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale it out. This time as we inhale to center, reach that right foot back to the left and that left arm across the body. Exhale it out. So just a slight extension to get into the hips. Inhale, center and reach. Exhale it out. Last one, inhale, center and reach to the side. Exhale it out. And then slowly inhale back to center. Rest that left hand down. Come onto the ball of that right foot this time. Pressing into the ball of the right foot as we press back through the heel. And just feel that nice little bit of length into the hamstring, into the calf. A little bit of engagement here in the quad to see if we can get a little bit more length into the leg. For three for two 
and one. We're going to swivel on that left knee this time, keeping the left hand grounded, coming into our variation on side plank. Again, hand rests on hip. We're going to inhale that right arm up toward the ceiling. And as we exhale, extend that right arm back overhead. Again, notice that the bum's popping out to the back here. So we want to press the hips forward, feel that space into the front of the body and along the right side waist. Again, we can choose to stay here, pressing the hips skyward, or if you want to join me, challenging the balance, challenging the core, challenging the glutes. We're going to inhale, hug that right elbow to touch right knee in. Exhale, extend it out and hover that right foot, just about an inch off the ground. Inhale, knee to elbow. Exhale, extend it out. Maybe the gaze follows that right hand. Inhale it in. Exhale, extend, use your breath. Inhale in. Exhale out. Last two. Last one. Slowly release that foot down. Bring that right hand back to make the left swivel back on the knee and coming back into our tabletop. From here, we're just going to sit back into a nice traditional child's pose just for a couple of breaths. So heels are right back onto the feet, or sorry, sit bones are back onto the heels. We can rest our head down onto the block or onto the ground. And then we're going to bring our hands back by our feet and just allow the shoulders melt toward the ground. Consciously allowing them melt, feel that space into the upper back and that release into the lower back. And just take a couple of grounding breaths here. So with our balance poses, it is all about everything, about grounding. When you think when you're kind of running around like a headless chicken, which I often do, if we come back to our balance, if we come back to our focus, we're going to clear the mind. And then we can actually function in our day-to-day -day a lot easier when we bring that balance, that stability, that groundedness. Extending the hands back out to the front of the mat. We're going to tuck the chin in, come back into our tabletop. From here, we're going to tuck the toes under and we're going to press it right back into our downward dog. So again, little upside down V here. Think of those roots of our hands, so really spreading through all corners of the hands. Press them into the finger pads and knuckles. We're going to actively press the ground away as we draw the chest toward the ground. Looking back toward the knees or toward the belly, we're going to lift the hips nice and high and then draw the heels down toward the mat. Maybe activating the quads here in the fronts of the legs to get a wee bit more space into the backs of the legs. As we inhale, we're going to come really high up onto the tippy toes. And as we exhale, we're going to release those heels down to the ground. Inhale, high in the tippy toes, lift the hips. Exhale, release the heels down. Inhale up, exhale, release. Last one, inhale nice and high, and then exhale, release. Gently walking out our downward dog here. So just allowing opposite heels melt toward the ground. Maybe rocking the hips side to side, maybe looking out underneath opposite armpits, getting a nice little bit of movement into our downward dog this morning, just waking up all facets of the body. Relax the breath. And then coming to stillness here, we're going to look forward to the front of the mat, gently walking to the front of the mat, coming through a nice relaxed deep forward fold. So just let everything just hang out here, a little bend to the knees, allow the belly melt toward the legs, relax the head and neck, maybe get a little shape, relax the arms, the shoulders, the fingertips. Release that lower back. And then slowly we're going to tuck the chin in and gently, gently rise up to stand. Lovely. So we're going to go into a few rounds of a variant on our sun salutations. If you need to take a drink, now's a nice time. And so we use our sun salutations as a base, but we're going to add in a few extra movement so that we're really warming up into every single little part of the body before we go into our stronger standing sequence. 
<laughs> when you're ready, we're going to come to the front of the mat. Feet about hip width distance apart, really grounding all the corners of the feet into the mat. If you were here at me on Tuesday, we looked at a little bit of activation in the feet. So we're going to come back to that here. So again, we're on our hands, now we're on our feet. These are our roots of our trees. I want you to start with putting the baby toe onto the mat. And then little bit by little bit, you're going to put your second toe, middle toe, all the way to your big toe and really spread through the toes here. So just notice how that feels from one side to the other. Notice the space, the gaps between the feet. From here, we're going to press the big toe into the mat and lift all the other toes off the mat. And notice how that's easier maybe on one side than the other. Maybe it's just not happening at all. And then we're going to reverse that. We're going to bring all the toes apart from the big toes. So we're lifting the big toe up and we're pressing all the other toes into the mat. So it's really good. And then the same, we just keep changing that. So press big toe into the mat to lift all the other toes. And then press all the other toes into the mat and lift the big toe. So just going from big toe to all the toes. So again, if we've got little things off in our intrinsic feet muscles and our lower leg muscles, it's going to be really hard to take our balance, and not just in our yoga, but in our day to day. So we might find that often we're always injuring on one side of the body more than the other. And, and often I talk about the hips, and quite often it is the hips, but then at other stages it can actually be the feet, your roots just aren't engaging, they aren't engaging equally. So just noticing that. We're just going to bring the hands to the hips here. And then we're going to slowly come up onto the tippy toes as high as we can go, really high. And then slowly release the heels down and lift the toes off the mat. So inhale, tippy toes. And then exhale back onto the heels, lift the toes. Inhale it forward. Exhale it back. See if you can get the ball of the foot off the mat. So really challenging that balance. Inhale it forward. And then exhale it back. Last one, inhale, tippy toes. And then exhale, release, lifting the toes. And back, lovely. We're gonna bring the hands to heart center, pressing the palms together, pressing the chest forward, rolling the shoulders back, engaging the abdominals, engaging those legs, little slight bend to the knees here. We're gonna inhale, arms out, reaching up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, hands to shins, nice flat back. Exhale, fold. We're going to step right foot back to lunge, drop the right heel down, and we're going to lift all the way up into our warrior one pose. So in warrior one, hips are face forward, heart is face forward, arms are up in line with the ears as we draw the shoulders away from the ears. Nice bend into that left knee. We're going to go slowly through this first variation. Exhale, warrior two. So we're going to bring that right foot back, still bent with that left knee, but we're rotating out to the right. Inhale, right arm rests on the back leg as we extend and reverse our warrior, reaching back through those left fingertips. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left arm comes to front leg as we extend the right arm out front. Inhale, back to warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel, both hands down either side of that left foot. We're going to step left foot back to meet right. Hold it here in plank. Check in, those shoulders are over the wrists. Hands are spread. We're pressing back through the heels for three, for two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat. Keeping the elbows in, rolling the heart forward, on top of the toes, pressing the feet into the ground, lifting the chest. Exhale. Tucking the toes, downward dog, walking it out. Reconnect with the breath if you've lost it. Relax the head and neck. We're going to inhale that right leg up. We're going to bend the right knee, lift the knee toward the ceiling as we press back into the heel. And then we're going to rotate our hips to the right. So we're drawing that right foot back behind us. We should be able to look underneath the left armpit and see that foot hanging out. Just getting a little bit of space into the right hip here. Keep that right knee lifted as high as you can go for three, for two, and one. Inhale back to three-legged. As we look forward between the hands, we're going to step that right foot into lunge. Left foot to meet it. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up through centre. Hands extended up. 
Exhale, swan dive fold. Inhale, gaze forward, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Stepping left foot back to lunge, dropping left heel down. Inhale, both arms up in line with the ears. Hips, heart are facing forward. Exhale, warrior two, rotate to the left, extend the arms out. Inhale, left hand rests in the back leg as you extend that right arm back overhead. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, right arm rests on the front leg as we extend that left arm overhead. And then draw it right back to center. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down either side of that right foot, flattening through the hands. We're going to bring that right foot back to meet left, holding it here in plank. Again, check in with those hips around. If you need to bring it to the knees, you can just keep the spine nice and long, the hips nice and even. So the bum's not up in the air, the hips aren't dropping down, we're not going into a back bend. Nice strong core here for two and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat. Rolling the heart forward, I'm tucking the toes, pressing the chest forward, pressing the feet into the ground. Exhale, tucking the toes, downward dog. Walking it out. Again, check in with that breath. So try to follow the pointers on the breath and the gaze. Again, just trying to catch it with our balance all the time. We're going to inhale that left leg up, bending the left knee, and then opening the hips to the left side of the room, pressing that right heel down into the ground. We should be able to look underneath the right armpit and see that left foot hanging out there. We're going to lift that left knee a little bit higher, even wave into the hands for three, for two, and one. Inhale back to three legged, looking four between the hands, stepping left foot into lunge. Right foot to meet it. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up through center, hands extended up. Exhale, hands to heart. So we're going to do that another time, a little bit flowier this time. So see how we go. And again, if you fall out, just pause and come right back in. Same with any of our balance poses. We're going to bring the hands to heart center, nicely grounded, grounding those feet, all corners of the feet into the mat. Relax the breath. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, hands to shins, nice flat back. Exhale, fold. Stepping right foot back to lunge, dropping right heel down. We're going to reach up with the arms and line with the ears, warrior one. Exhale, rotate to the right, warrior two. Inhale, right arm rests in the back leg as we extend that left arm back overhead. Exhale, center, warrior two. Inhale, left arm rests on the front leg, extend that right arm overhead. Head back to warrior two. Rotate we'll both hands down either side of that left foot, ball of the right foot as we step back strongly into our plank. Hold it for three, for two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga to the ground, elbows tucked in, reaching the heart forward, untucking the toes, pressing the feet into the mat and lifting the chest. Exhale, downward dog. Again, nice and easy, walking it out. Inhale, right leg up, bending right knee, rotating the hips to the right side of the room, really pressing firmly into those hands, really lifting that right knee and drawing that left heel toward the ground. Feel that space in the right hip for three, for two, and one. Inhale, back to three-legged dog. Look forward between the hands as we exhale, step that right foot to the front of the mat, left foot to meet it, exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up through center, hands extended up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Stepping left foot back to lunge, dropping left heel down. Inhale, both arms up in line with the ears, chest and hips move forward. Exhale, rotate to the left, warrior two. Inhale, left hand rests in the back leg as we reach back through that right arm. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, right arm comes forward as we extend that left arm up overhead. Exhale, back to warrior. Inhale here. And as we exhale, cart with both hands down either side of that right foot, coming onto the ball of the left foot. Step back into our plank. Hold it here, nice and strong for three, for two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga to the mat. Elbows in, rolling the heart forward on top of the toes, pressing the chest forward, pressing the feet into the ground. Exhale, tucking the toes, downward dog. Again, gently walking it out. Inhale, left leg up, bending that left knee, opening the hips to the left side of the room, pressing into that right heel, really lifting that left knee as much as we can, holding it here, opening that hip for three, for two, and one. Inhale, back to three-legged dog, looking forward between the hands, stepping left foot into lunge with control. Right foot to meet it, and exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up through center, hands extended up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lovely. Take a drink if you need it. We're going to go into our stronger balancing poses now. Come into the front of the mat when you're ready. This time we're going to start with toes and knees together. So again, finding that groundedness in the feet. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up. And as we exhale, we're going to sit back into our chair pose. So see if we can throw the weight back into the hips. See if we can keep the knees from tracking over the toes here. So we're sitting back into our chair. Notice if you've got a back bend here. So tuck the hips forward, engage with the core and try to maintain that long spine. Again, we don't need to sit too deep if we're losing that length in the spine. So we might be a little bit taller, just experimenting through the pose, how it feels. We're gonna draw the hands to heart center. We're gonna inhale here. As we exhale, we're gonna to twist to the right and we're gonna rest that left arm. So knees are bent. We're gonna rest that left arm onto the right leg. Hands are in prayer, prayer hands face forward. We're gonna press the palms together, press that left arm into the leg and see if we can lift the belly off the leg. Notice if the knees are tracking over each other. So I want you to draw them that they're back in line, literally glued together here. Gaze can go to the ground, to the hands, or to the ceiling or elbow. Again, as we lift the gaze, it gets a little bit more challenging. We can hold it here, working into that lovely balance and twist. Or if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, we're going to put the weight into the right foot, coming on to the tippy toes of the left foot, and with a nice core engagement, we're going to step that left foot back to lunge with control. Again, if you need to drop down onto the left knee, reacquaint yourself with that twist and then lift off the back knee, pressing back through the heels. So holding it in our twist for three, for two, and one. Slowly, we're going to inhale, hands back to heart center as we bring the gaze forward. Exhale, we're going to twist back to the right. Again, you can do this with the back knee on the ground. So listen to your own body here. And we're going to open the arms out nice and wide in line with the shoulders. Hold it here for three, pressing back through that heel for two. Don't forget to breathe and one. We're going to rest that right hand on the back leg, extending the left arm up. And again, the gaze is quite important here. So for stability, we're going to take the gaze to the ground. If we want to challenge the balance a little bit more, we can take the gaze towards the ceiling. Hold it here for three, for two, and one. Inhale back, arms out nice and wide. Exhale, hands to heart as we rotate to the front of the mat. From here, we're going to really ground that right foot into the mat. Catch it with your breath. We're going to bring the fingertips to the front of the mat. And then we're going to lift that left foot off the mat. So we're on the fingertips, lifting off the left foot. We're going to try to get the left foot in line with the hip or a little bit higher if we can, depending on where our flexibility is at. Yours might be a lot better than mine. If we have blocks, we can always place the hands onto the blocks if we want a little bit more 
height a little bit more length in the arms. Holding it here for three, for two, and one. We're going to keep the right hand on the ground or onto a block or a book if we have it. And then we're going to bring that left hand to rest on the left hip as we rotate to the left side of the room and see if we can lift that left leg a little bit higher. So try to draw that left shoulder back. Again, notice all those little muscle fibers in that standing leg. Hold it here for three, for two, and one. Rotating fingers back down to the ground. We're gonna bend that right knee, we're gonna bend the left knee, and we're gonna place that left knee to the back of the right knee, drawing the left heel toward the bum. So again, fingertips can be on the block or they can be on the ground out in front. Or if you want to really challenge that right glute to that balance, you can bring the hands to heart center. Hovering, holding it here for three, for two, and one. Fingertips come back down to the ground and then we're going to step that left foot back and then we're going to rotate it into our warrior two. So nicely bend to that front right leg, left legs extended, arms extended out in line with the shoulders. Inhale here, and as we exhale, cartwheel both hands down either side of that left foot, stepping left foot up to meet right, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up through centre, hands extended up. And as we exhale, again, we're going to sit back into our chair. So knees are together. Toes are together. Nice length in the spine. See if we can draw the arms up in line with the ears here. Press the chest forward, engage the core. Notice where that lower back is at. So it should feel a release. We're not compressing into the lower back. Inhale, hands to heart center. And as we exhale, we're going to twist to the left and rest that right arm onto the left leg. Again, notice if that right knee is trapping out in front, we're going to glue those knees together. We're going to press that right arm into the leg, hands in prayer for our hands facing forward. See if we can lift the belly off the thighs here. Again, gaze can go to the ground or challenging the balance a little bit more by taking the gaze to the elbow or toward the ceiling. Again, choose to stay here or if you want to join me, we're going to ground into that left foot, come onto the ball of that right foot and slowly with control, step that right foot back to meet or to back the mat into our lunge. Again, if you need to drop down onto that right knee to reacquaint yourself with that twist, and then we can see if we can lift off the right knee, pressing back through the heel. So there's so many variations. Listen to your body. If you're shaking, if you feel totally unstable here, please drop down onto the knee, get those stabilizer muscles firing, and then over time, work into lifting the knee off. So it's all phase steps, particularly with our balance, because we can all get better at balance. It's just a matter of patience, time. So we all have the ability to improve our balance, but over time. We're going to inhale, hands to heart center as we twist to the front of the mat. And then slowly we're going to rotate to the left and open both arms out in line with the shoulders. Again, feel free to drop down onto the right knee here at any stage. Holding that twist for three, for two, and one. We're going to rest that left hand on the back leg. Extend the right arm up toward the ceiling. Keep that bend in the front leg. Keep pressing back through that right heel. Maybe the gaze goes up, really challenging that balance. For three, for two, and one, arms back extended. Inhale, hands to heart, facing to the front of the mat. Again, getting nice and strong in our lunge here. We're gonna bring the fingertips out front, nice deep bend to both knees here. And then we're gonna gently press into that left foot as we press off the ball of the right foot and come up onto the fingertips, lifting that right foot. See if we can get it up in line with the hip. Notice how it's different from one side to the other. If we have blocks, nice to use them here. It just allows us a little bit more extension through the arms, a little bit more lift into the chest. Hold it here, lifting that back leg for three, for two, and one. Keeping the left hand on the block or onto the ground, 
We're going to bring that right hand to rest in the hip as we rotate to the right and see if we can lift that right foot up a little bit more. Again, we're kind of aiming to have the foot in line with the hip, a little bit higher if you have it. But again, wherever it's at, once you're feeling that engagement with that standing leg, that engagement into the glutes, draw that right shoulder back for three, for two, and one. Well done. Fingertips come back to the mat or to the blocks. We're going to bend both knees nice and deep, bringing that right knee to rest in just behind the left, drawing the right heel toward the bum. And again, we can choose to stay here. Lovely, challenging balance in itself. If we want to bring it to the next level, we can bring the hands to heart center. Hold it here for three, for two, and one. Release the fingertips to the ground. We're going to step that right foot back, coming into our warrior two straight away. Outer blade of that right foot comes parallel to the back of the mat. Inhale, both arms out in line with the shoulders. And just reconnect with the breath here in our warrior. As we exhale, we're going to cartwheel both hands down, either side of that left foot, coming onto the ball of the back foot, stepping right foot up to meet left, exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up through centre, hands extended up, exhale, hands to heart. Lovely. <laughs> Again, if you need to take a drink, please do. Okay, next little sequence. We're going to bring a little twist, a little shoulder opening, a little bit of hip opening into this next little bit. We're going to start, feet grounded, bend hip width distance apart. Hands are open to the front of the mat, the palms face forward. We're going to inhale that right knee up, nice and even. Check in here, hip is in line with knee, knee to heel, heel to toe, nice 90 degree angles. Put the thumbs onto the hip bones just to notice if one is dipping a little bit lower than the other. So we want to keep those hips nice and even. From here, we're going to cross the right leg over the left and maybe even hooking that right toe around the back of the left calf. So again, wherever the hips are at, wherever the legs are at, you might have particularly muscly uh, upper legs that mightn't be accessible or even coming into a figure four if that's not accessible at all this, this morning. So just check it with your body. So right leg is twisted over left. Hips are still facing forward, so we're not rotating to the left. So just keep checking in there. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up. As we exhale, we're going to cross the right arm underneath the left, bring them out in front, bending through the elbows. And then we're going to see if we can twist the wrists around each other, either coming to prayer hands, maybe holding on to a thumb, maybe holding on to a finger. So getting a nice little twist here. We're going to draw the shoulders away from the ears to start with and then we're going to see if we can draw the elbows up in line with the shoulders or maybe a little bit higher and then we're going to sit back into a chair pose here as much as we can feeling that left glute engage again we can choose to stay here if we want to come into a fold as we inhale pressing the arms toward the ceiling and as we exhale, pressing back through the hips, keeping the spine long and gently drawing the elbows toward the knees. Gaze is relaxed up onto that middle finger. Hold it here for three, for two, woo, and one. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bring that right knee back out in front. We're going to step it back into our warrior two legs, keeping the arms as they are. We're going to inhale, really reach those fingertips up toward the ceiling. And as we exhale, we're going to come into a little back bend here. So again, really drawing those shoulder blades nice and wide, drawing the elbows away from the body as much as we can for three, for two, and one. We're going to lengthen through that front leg. We're going to inhale here. And as we exhale, we're going to twist to the front of the mat and slowly draw those elbows again toward the knees. Just getting a little stretch in behind that front leg. Hold it here for three, for two, and one. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release the arms out into our warrior two arms, nice and relaxed. 
Looking forward to the front of the mat, we're going to cartwheel both hands down either side of that left foot, stepping right foot up to meet left, exhale fold. Inhale, rolling up through centre, hands extended up, exhale, hands to heart. Other side, again, hands to the front of the mat, feet about hip width distance apart. Inhale, lifting that left knee out in front, again, nice 90 degree angles, hips are nice and even. From here, we're going to cross that left leg over the right as much as we can, and then see maybe if we can hook that left foot behind the calf, or we might just come into our figure four here. So just see where the legs are at, keeping those hips facing forward, so tendency to twist to the right here. Find that drishti point of focus, so something that's not moving to fix that gaze on. We're going to inhale, arms out, reach it up. As we exhale, we're going to bring left arm underneath the right, Bending at the elbows and then twisting the wrists around each other. It's a really hard one to describe this one. You're kind of like a pretzel with the hands. Again, we can press the palms together if we have it, or we can hold on to a thumb, a finger, anything that we can grab, just so we're getting that stretch between the shoulder blades. So that's what we're looking for here. We're going to draw the shoulders away from the ears, and then we're going to bring the elbows up in line with the shoulders. A little bit higher if we can. We're going to sit back into our chair here. So lowering the hips, drawing a deeper bend into that knee. Hold it here. Again, if you want to come into a fold as we inhale, pressing through the fingertips. As we exhale, pressing back through the hips and drawing those elbows toward the knees. We're going to hold it here for three, for two, and one. Slowly drawing it back to centre. Inhale that left leg out in front, and then we're going to step the left foot back to our warrior two legs. Point control as much as you can. Inhale, reaching those fingertips up toward the ceiling as the gaze goes up, and exhale, see if we can come into a little back bend. So, really pressing forward through the hips, drawing the chest high, only if it feels good. For three, for two, and one, inhale back to centre. We're going to extend through that front leg, so lengthen the front leg, inhale. And as we exhale, rotating to the right and gently pressing back through the hips as we draw the elbows toward that knee. Again, we're just looking for a little stretch in behind that right leg. Hold it here for three, for two, and one. Inhale, back to centre. As we exhale, release the arms, moving it back into our warrior two, so nice bend in that front leg. Inhale here, and then exhale, cartwheel both hands down either side of that right foot. And then we step that left foot up to meet right, exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up through centre, hands extended up. Exhale, hands to heart. Well done. Loads of little challenging sequences there. If you need to take a drink, please do. We're going to finish with our tree pose this morning. Or my magic pose, as I like to call it. So our tree pose is brilliant for balance, but it's um, it works with our stabilizers, our core, our chest opener, our hip opening, focus, breath. There's so many things that we can do with just this simple little pose. So we're going to come off the mat here just so we can really feel the ground underneath the feet. And again, if you feel maybe a low breath, low pressure, a little bit lightheaded, just have a chair or a wall beside you. So if you need to tip for a little bit of help. So don't battle our tree poses. It's supposed to be an enjoyable pose. We want to make it like that. So we're going to bring the hands to the hips to start with. We're going to rotate that right hip out and we're going to rest the heel just above the ankle. And just notice that right hip engage as we work that right knee out. So we do want to work into a hip opener here. If that feels good, we're going to bring the right foot to rest on the left calf, pressing foot into leg, leg into calf, and then we're going to draw that right knee out a little bit more. And again, check in if that left hip is popping out. So keep the hips nice and even. If that feels good, we're going to bring that right foot up to the upper inner thigh. But again, keep that openness in the hips. So if you're up there and the knees suddenly come forward, just drop back down to the calf again. We're going to bring the hands to heart centre. We're going to find a point of focus out in front of us that's not moving. So it could be where the floor meets the wall, 
wall meets the ceiling. Notice as you take your gaze higher, it's always a little bit trickier in our balance poses, but it really challenges those stabilizing muscles. Calm the breath, try to find a little bit of stillness here. So again, coming in, focusing on where that trunk is at, where that core is at. We're gonna inhale arms out, reach it up, press and palms together. And as we exhale, we're gonna open up into our full tree pose. So opening our branches. We're gonna press the index finger and thumb together firmly, creating a little energy mudra, which is also a point of focus here. A little energy flow line. Pressing the chest forward, keeping the core strong. Again, if you wanna challenge it, we might sway the branches. <laughs> we might close down the eyes all together, taking that focus out of it, and that really challenges your balance and if you fall out just come right back in so that's the beauty of balance is it's a really good life lesson so you don't just give up you let it go take a breath and come right back in relax the breath calm the mind inhale hands back to heart center we're going to bring that right knee forward again adding a little bonus coming into our figure four so resting that ankle just above the knee or just below the knee Again, stay here for the next couple of breaths or we can sit back into our half chair. Just lowering, not getting too low this morning. Just an extra little release into the hip and that standing leg for three, for two, and one. Inhale back to center, right leg comes forward and then gently release it down to make the left. Release the hands, shake out that left foot. Really good for our ankle stabilizers. So if you spend a lot of time on your feet, if you're like me and spend a lot of time running around the mountains, this pose is magic, just for really straightening up the lower legs and helping activate the foot muscles, the ankle muscles, getting all that, all that moving. So we go over to the other side. So again, grinding both feet, hands on the hips, really spreading through the toes on that right foot. We're gonna rotate the left hip out, Rest in the heel just above the ankle to start with. Again, choose, choose to stay here, or we can bring the foot to the calf or the foot to the upper inner thigh. So we're pressing the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. So that extra little bit of friction is gonna help us maintain that hold. Drawing that left hip out. So we should feel that left glute activate and just notice that that right hip isn't popping out to the side. So nice evenness in the hips. Hands to heart, finding our point of focus. Relax the breath. Engage with the core here. Draw the chest forward, the shoulders away from the ears. There's so many little things happening here. We're going to inhale arms out if it feels good. Reaching up, pressing palms together, and then exhale, drawing the arms back out in line with the shoulders. Press an index finger and thumb together as we draw the heart forward. Engage with the belly muscles. So the ribs have a tendency to flare out here. So I want you to really engage with those tummy muscles and you feel a little bit more strength in the balance. Again, if you wish to sway your branches. So bringing movement into our balance poses like we did in our sequence challenges those little intrinsic muscles a little bit more. Maybe close down the eyes, take that point of focus out of it. So again, these are all just little extensions on the pose. Find stillness. We're going to inhale hands back to heart center. Draw that left knee forward. We're going to rest that left ankle just above the knee or just below the knee, coming into our figure four. Again, choose to stay here for the last few breaths, or we can bend through that right knee, sitting back into our chair as we gently lower the hips. Keep that left foot nice and active. Hold it here for three, for two, and one, inhale back to center. We're gonna draw that left knee forward and then slowly release. And then shake out that right foot, shake out the hands. And don't beat yourself up with the balance poses. So it is something I'm gonna to try to bring a little bit more into the classes little bit by little bit, because we can all benefit and we all have the same capabilities. So anatomically, we should all be able to achieve our balance poses. It just might take a little bit more time if we haven't been doing it. So we're going to make a way to sit on the mat here. Lying back onto the mat. Knees are bent, feet are flat. We're going to bring the feet nice and wide. 
knock the knees together, draw the arms out in line with the shoulders, palms down. We're going to inhale center. As we exhale, dropping the knees over to the right, gaze goes to the left. Inhale center, exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. So just doing a few little wind screen, wipering with the hips side to side, taking the gaze the opposite way. So we're getting that full little twist throughout the full length of the spine. As we draw the knees a little bit deeper, we should feel that release into the side waist. And really press the glutes and lower back into the mat to get that extra little bit of a massage. Slowly meeting back in centre. We're going to hug the knees in toward the chest, giving them a nice little squeeze. And then release the feet onto the mat. Slowly we're going to roll over onto our right hand side. Taking a couple of breaths here, just notice where the body's at. And then gently pressing the hand into the mat to slowly bring ourselves up to seat, head comes up last. And just making your way to any comfortable seat. So it could be cross-legged, sitting back onto the heels, legs extended, so whatever feels good. And this morning we're actually gonna place the palms down, uh, face down onto the knees, so palms down just for a little bit of stability and balance into our weekend. So drawing the shoulder blades together down the back, engage the core, sit nice and tall. Close down the eyes here. I'm just taking a few nice cleansing breaths. So inhale and sigh it out. Inhale. And release. Last one. And then slowly bringing the hands to heart centre, pressing the palms together, keeping the eyes closed. And just thanking yourselves for creating a wee bit of space in your morning, in your week, to come to the mat to look after yourselves, to create some really good energy.